This aspect also proves that the Holy Quran is divine and not the utterance of a mentally deranged person. Still critics say that the Quran is nothing but utterances of a mentally deranged person. If the Quran was composed by a mentally deranged person, whoever reads the Holy Quran will be confused. A person who needs mental peace will never get peace and comfort from reading the Holy Quran. But reality speaks otherwise. The verses of the Holy Quran has brought back many persons who had attempted to commit suicide to a life of peace and happiness. The verses of the Holy Quran has brought back many persons to senses who had lost it in a fit of rage. When the news reached Umar bin Khattab about the death of the Prophet, he refused to believe it. Raising his sword, he shouted, If any person says that Muhammad is dead, his hands will be cut off. The Prophet has gone near Allah like Prophet Moses went. And the Prophet will come back as Prophet Moses came back after 40 days. So if any person says that Muhammad is dead, his hands will be chopped off. People were frightened and confused to enlighten the people about the truth and to bring back Umar to his senses. Abu Bakr who had to come in. In one of the greatest speeches in the annals of religious oratory, Abu Bakr stopped the frenzied utterances of Umar. This he achieved by quoting a verse from the Holy Quran. وَمَا مُحَمَّدٌ إِلَّا رَسُولٌ قَدْ خَلَتْ مِنْ قَبْلِهِ رُسُلٌ أَفْئِنْ مَاتَ أَوْ قُتْلًا كَلَبْتُمْ إِلَىٰ أَلْكَابِكُمْ وَمَنْ يَنْكَلِبْ إِلَىٰ أَكْبَيْهِ فَلَنْ يَلْرَ اللَّهَ شَيْئًا وَسَأَجِزِ اللَّهِ شَاكِرِينَ Muhammad is no more than a messenger. And indeed, messengers have passed away before him. If he dies or is killed, will you then turn back on your heels? And he who turns back on his heels, do not cause any harm to Allah. And Allah shall reward the grateful. After quoting these words from the Holy Quran, Abu Bakr said, If any one of you had been worshipping Muhammad, he is dead. You can go. But if any one of you is worshipping the one and only Almighty God, he lives forever. When Umar bin Khattab who heard these words, his sword fell from his hands and he sat down like a lamb. This is the power and influence the Holy Quran has exerted over its followers. If the Holy Quran was written by a mentally deranged person, this would not have been the situation. Still critics dare to describe the words of the Holy Quran as the utterances of a mentally deranged person. Friends, there are ever so many criticisms against Islam, the Prophet and the Holy Quran. I am unable to deal with so many other criticisms for want of time. In the question answer session immediately following this speech, you can ask any questions pertaining to the subject. In fact, if we study and analyze properly, there is answer for every criticism against Islam, the Prophet and the Holy Quran. But in respect to one criticism, we will find it very difficult to answer. That criticism is not against Islam. That's not against the Prophet. That's not against the Holy Quran. Then you may wonder and ask, what is that criticism which is devoid of an answer? That one is against us. If anyone points his finger against our life, our behavior, our attitude, our speech, and our financial dealings, and ask us, whether we are leading a life according to the commands and teachings of the Holy Quran and the Prophet, we will have to bow our heads in shame. If we want to bring back the glory of Islam, if we want to answer criticisms against Islam in the true spirit and in the most effective way, if we want to convince the world about the relevance of Islam and the need to follow the Holy Quran and the teachings of the Prophet, we have to transform ourselves. We should allow God's light shine in our true selves, in our deeds, in our conversations, in our financial dealings, 
and in the entire gamut of our activities then and then only we will be able to propagate Islam through our life then and then only we can proudly say we are Muslims then and then only we can sincerely proclaim that we are true followers of our dear Prophet only with that light of God in the niche of our innermost hearts we can walk with steps both firm and sure we can show the world through our life the glory of Islam the relevance of the Holy Quran and the need to follow the teachings of our beloved Prophet thus should we pay our gratitude to Allah for all his blessings by walking humbly in the ways of the Lord with heartfelt prayer backed by action and thus we can accomplish God's great purpose in this world O oh Lord help us to achieve that I thank Almighty God for granting me this opportunity I thank the organizers for inviting me I thank you for listening to my speech Allahumma ufir lil mu'mineen wal mu'minat wal muslimin wal muslimat Allahumma ahina ila al kitab wa sunna wa amatina mal imani wa tawba Rabbana atina fi dunya hasana wa fi al akhirati hasanatan wa qina adhab al nar Assalamu alaikum